Hello, hello. The last two journals didn't take quite as long to finish as I was expecting. Um, I'm not sure if they will be in my Etsy store today. Um, they may still be in my Etsy store tomorrow. So this is um, another journal which is blank for you to make your own. Uh, you know, I've done a couple of things, but nothing that kind of makes it um, a, a journal I've I've made. Well, you know, it kind of is a journal I've made, but it's a journal for somebody to make their own. I'm just going to show you that at the end. So um, it is upholstery. It's a beautiful um, kind of tactile journal cover. Sorry, thread from the sari silk. It's fabric inside and out. I've added some blue tabs just on paper clips. You can take them out if you want to. Um, and this is using the shades kit. It's obviously the full size kit, not the same size as the traveler's notebook, <laughs> obviously, because this is a bigger journal. Um, tea stained paper in this one. It's not just, you know, plain papers, book pages. Um, loads and loads of writing room. If you wanted to leave this journal as it is, it's fine. You know, it's, it's perfectly usable. Um, this is the kind of journal I would probably use for myself without, you know, not necessarily pockets. I've left the strings so you can add beads if you want to. Obviously, I'm not going to spend too much time flipping through this journal because apart from the, the kit pages, there isn't anything to see. I hope you can see that page clearly. This is one of my favourite pages from the kit. Um, if you want, want a clearer look, then please do go and check out the kit on the Etsy store. It is the Shades kit, the full size. Or A5. Now, obviously, my printer doesn't do full bleed, so there is a tiny little gap around the edges, but that hardly notices once it's in the book um, against the tea-stained papers. So that is the journal. I will trim off some of these sari silk. Um, but you could absolutely pop eyelets in and have a tie closure if you wanted to. You could thread the, um, it's a five hole um, pamphlet stitch, so you could thread this through, you know, one of the, the stitches at the back if you wanted to. You could add a completely different closure. You can add a collage to the front. There's, you know, a lot of scope for this to be made your own. And there is one of my um, little book page trifolds and in here there are two uh, these go so well with the shades kit there's two tags the collage and then gessoed and I've done a little bit of sewing on those um, there is a book page tag that you can absolutely decorate and do whatever you like to that and then there is one of the scrappy tags just using my scraps and some book page kind of collage. So that is that is included, so you can add it if you wanted to. It can't actually hang out, it would have to go that way into the journal because, um, well it could go this way, but you'd need to move this into this pocket so it's facing into the journal. You'll figure that out. <laughs> There's a little sewn envelope using a book page and I've made some just some page edges that you could add if you wanted to. You don't have to. Um, one thing I will say about these is um, I purchased a book, it was a new book, and um, it was about lavender. And these, the whole book smelled of lavender. It was beautiful and really strong. The smell is dying down, but they do, <laughs> yeah, if you flap it you can still smell the lavender. I think I'm a bit immune to it now because I've smelt it for so long. But they are just some little collage, sewn um, kind of embellishments that you can add to the edges of some pages if you wanted to. If you don't, you can use them for something completely different. You don't have to use them, put them in the bin if you like. Um, but I just felt like I had to make a little something to go with the journal. There's a little button on here on this collage and this one too. So they are the bits that come with the Shades Blank Journal. Um, this will probably not be in my Etsy store today. It 
possibly will be, it depends. Um, I've, I've been working since fairly early this morning, I didn't expect to finish sewing all the tags. They just didn't take anywhere near as long as I was expecting. Um, so thanks for watching, thank you again for everyone for your support and lovely comments. Um, I do appreciate you all so much. Um, I hope you have a lovely day and I will be back shortly with the final video. Bye!